So we're gonna install some LED light bars on the KTM. This is a seven inch light bar. It came with two. I didn't realize it came with two. And then I bought these uh, brackets. to attach the light to instead of going through the number plate like a lot of people do. And I got this aluminum bar. And I got the switch, on off switch. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a little windy. I'll try to speak up. Alright. So these big clamps comes with different uh, thickness. down below in the video I'll put the exact uh, hardware that you're going to need to do this uh, installation. Okay. So I'm going to use the lock washer that the kit came with. So this piece goes behind. Still not quite enough room. So what I do, I get it in place, and I get this uh, not super tight, but where it's snug. see this bolt right here or my there we are so you're gonna place this bracket kind of right up against that bolt underneath so then that's what we're doing on the other side here okay all right Ooh, that wind is picking up sorry about the wind folks Obviously, we'll have to cut it this a little wide, 36 inches. Right, so, see that we have a big gap between the black and the black. both sides. Now, it is aluminum and a little band, but remember, we're going to have a light bar going here. So Now we need to 
measure. So we're going to measure the width of this, you know how long to cut our bar. Let's go 14 and a half. Let's take a look at that. Now we're just going to have to ignore the messy garage. We got so many projects going on around here. So this is kind of a holding area, staging area to Transition all the projects we're doing. Okay, so anyway, we had, we had to come indoors in the garage here that uh, it's too windy out there. All right, so I determined we're gonna do a 14 and a quarter. So we're just marking the lemon bar right now. All right, let's make our cut. Okay, so for <clears throat> our fork bracket, we showed you how to do this in the front part first, okay? <clears throat> so now then we have our bolts. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get this aluminum mounting bracket out away from the face plate or the number plate. <clears throat> so what I've done is taken some spacers and I had to add a washer, then a lock washer and then two nuts then a nut on the back side to get the proper distance from this bracket past the number plate. And so what we did, <clears throat> the bolt for the mounting bracket for the light, instead of running it the other way and going through that way, I just turned it around and ran it this way. So the head of it is between the plate and uh, you can see it's just barely touching the number plate on the bottom part. So that's not going to be an issue. And we just tighten that there and then we put the this bolt in through for the swivel. So now the light is attached to the bracket. <clears throat> the bracket is attached to our aluminum plate that we made. So we measured and then drilled the holes, 5 16 holes. These are 5 16 bolts and you need at least four inch bolts. Okay. All right, so now then <clears throat> we got the wire just running back behind it goes through there and it's running back behind here oh, there we are all right <clears throat> so now what we've done <clears throat> we got our on off switch mounted i'll just put it over here on the left side next to the kill switch so <clears throat> now what we have to do is run wires from the switch and the light bar back to the battery so I've taken the side plates off I took the one bolt loose on the tank I didn't have to take the tank completely off because it'll come up high enough for me to run my wires through <clears throat> so you know you do have your fuel holes here so that limits how far you can go <clears throat> but I was able to lift it high enough to get the wires running back through here to the battery and they're just running alongside this frame there and I just unclip that run those two wires in here so this is a 16 gauge wire I went ahead and did a black and a positive black and a red you don't have to do that you can do whatever color you have just if you don't want to buy extra wire like I did and just use the same wire <clears throat> okay so for the negative wire we're gonna go straight from the LED light bar to the battery so I've crimped that in 
it's one of the uh, eye loops so we just got it bolted in through there <clears throat> now then the positive wire we're going to of course we got positive post of the battery <clears throat> and it's gonna run to the switch okay so the negative from the light goes straight to the battery post the other wire which would be the positive coming from the light is going to tie into the one of the wires on the switches and then the positive wire is going to go to the other switch wire so that connects the the circuit there all right you don't you don't want the positive going to the LED bar right so you want it to go to the switch okay I'll draw a little diagram and uh, take a picture of it and uh, that way you can see the wiring scheme Man. I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but in case you're not uh, familiar with wiring, I'll go ahead and post that just so you can uh, make it easier for you if you decide to do this. All right, so next what I've got to do is I've got to plug in my fuel sensor here, and then I've got to tighten up my, my tank back on and then get my side panels back on. And then we're ready to try out our light. We'll test it out tonight when uh, when it gets dark. <clears throat> 